folks, Chris Waters here with Stefan Cardin, the producer on For Honor. Stefan, it's Gamescom time and you are showing For Honor in a really big way. Yeah, really exciting time. You know, last E3, we surprised people with our, with our campaign and now it's time to get back to the root of the franchise, which is multiplayer. Multiplayer and specifically today we started with Dominion, that 4v4 mode with AI enemies mixing it up in the middle and a bunch of different capture points. Let's talk about how you guys have improved this mode since we last saw it. You know, we, we adjust a few things like the, the, the control points, but the big things that we're bringing in uh, this year, it's the impact of new heroes on the battlefield. So we announced for the first time our 12 heroes that will be at launch for the players and what people realize or will realize if you didn't have the chance to play is that each of them play completely differently right you have different abilities different combos specific set of animation for each of those characters and you need to master that weapon and his, his advantages and his dis disadvantage to be efficient on the battlefield it's not just one night one Viking, one Samurai. I mean, you've got Samurais wielding huge cudgels. You've got Vikings darting around with axes. There are sort of different archetypes within each faction uh, to give players, you know, a different way to attack, a different speeds to attack, and play different roles during combat. Exactly, and we, we realized quickly that they were falling into one of those four categories, right? We have the Assassins, the very fast one, we, you have the other one who are more tanks on the battlefield that we call the the heavy. You have the uh, the kind of uh, hybrid uh, character which is mixing some of the attribute of those category, and you have the vanguard, which is the jack of all trades, right? And they look so distinct because. And they have to, because if I'm rolling up and I'm fighting a heavy, I need to know I can't afford to take a hit from that heavy because it's going gonna, it's gonna to light my health real low. Yeah, but again, so if you, you need the most difficult part is to find the opening on those characters. They usually have shield, they protect themselves very well. They are, they are extremely efficient in the middle of the lanes with the minions. Uh, very difficult to move out the control points. So you, you really need to strategize. And what is fun is because you can mismatch those 12 characters in each of the team, each match feel different because you need to adapt to not just the strategy of the other team, but also their roosters. Absolutely. And on top of the sort of fearsome looking masks and just these incredible <laughs> armors that they have, you can customize it yourself to get yeah. your own look. Yeah, very quickly uh, players will realize that each of those 12 characters are just template because you can customize everything about them. You can customize their their appearance, their gender, their skin tone. You could put tattoos, emblems on your armors. You can change the blade of your weapon, the ilt, you know, uh, the helmet. Everything is customizable and you have hundreds of options out there to create your own version of that character. All right, so Dominion mode, uh, there's a few other things in here that I want to talk about because one of the things players were experiencing was, you know, if there's four heroes running around the battlefield plus all these AI, you can maybe get overwhelmed pretty quickly if the other team is working in coordination or if you oh, yeah. show up at a capture point and lo and behold, there's a few more of them than there are of exactly. you. Exactly, the best, it's not the best players who win in Dominion. Team play, communication is what makes the difference at the end. You know, we run different uh, tournaments internally and it's always the same thing. The, the teams that took time to coordinate themselves and strategize well and, and more importantly adapt on the fly uh, on the strategy of the different uh, of the other teams mm -hmm. usually win win the match. Yeah, I mean if you've got a teammate around who can revive you in the modes that permit reviving, that's huge. And also the new revenge mechanic you guys have worked in and revamped for uh, working on those lopsided situations to make it a little more viable. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, but one of the big complaints we received, uh, uh, not just when we announced, but when we went live, was that, you know, when I fight against multiple enemies, it becomes difficult to, I feel overwhelmed. It's I don't, really hard, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't have enough tools. So that was a huge challenge, right? We tried many things, we prototypes a lot, and we came up with that revenge system. So if you manage well against multiple enemies and you're able to survive, you're filling up a, a, go, a gauge, and at some point you can trigger the revenge mode. 
So you become kind of in a fury mode and you start being unblockable mm -hmm. and you're able to change the momentum of the fight and take advantage of a 2v1 situation. And I think I saw you play against two guys and killing them. The feeling, oh the God, feeling it so of it. Oh my God, satisfying yeah. to just rage out. Because I was, you know, you go from being like, uh-oh, this is like, this is real bad for me. I need something to tip the scales. And then you bust that up. It just is really empowering. Oh no, it's crazy. And when we stumble on that, on the production floor, we said, okay, I think we have something to solve that issue. <laughs> Stefan, anything else at the Gamescom sort of showing of For Honor that you think folks are going to be really interested in that you want to highlight? But to me, it's really, we heard for several months, hey guys, do you only have three characters in this game? No, we, we don't have three characters in the game. We have 12 characters that, that are going to be fully customizable from the appearance to the armors to the weapons. So I think people will be pleased to see how much a difference a new character can bring on the battlefield. I can't wait to get back into that customization. I mean, I was fiddling around with it a little bit and there were just so many cool like armor pieces and gauntlets and shoulders and all this stuff that you could customize and just make a really cool looking warrior. So if folks want to make one for themselves, tell them when For Honor is coming out. Yeah, you need to be ready next Valentine. It won't be about love and flowers. It will be about war and foreigners. So February, February 14, get ready because that will be a bloody Valentine. Be ready, PS4, PC, and Xbox One for foreigners.